In this video, I'm gonna break down the design of these really fantastic and simple banner frames that were put together for a marching band and color guard competition. And these were shared in our community by Philip, and these are made entirely out of half inch electrical conduit and fittings that we manufacture in upstate South Carolina that allow you to build all kinds of awesome things without having to weld or use any special tools, uh, which makes them a really fantastic uh, combination of materials because uh, you, know, you can put together frames and different props and whatnot without having to, you know, weld them or make a permanent solution. They're totally modular and you can use them year after year. You can assemble them quickly and change the design and uh, we'll, we'll highlight some features about that as we go through. But like I said, this is built with half inch EMT conduit. We also have fittings for three quarter inch and one inch and actually our half inch connector uh, is not really a half inch connector specifically. It's made for three quarter inch and then there is a black plastic adapter shim that you'll snap onto the half inch conduit and then the three quarter inch conduit will snap or sorry, will connect over top of those um, and you know kind of make up the diameter and you know you can use them in that way uh, which is really cool because then you can you know kind of utilize both sizes if you uh, you know need a certain part of your frame to be stronger and then another part um, you know not to be as strong uh, you can save some money uh, which I know is important with marching bands um, you know a lot of parents and things have to pay for the props so that's something to keep in mind but these are a really simple you know frame that you can put together and they pretty much consist of a lower two-dimensional rectangle as we can see here where you've basically got four of the maker pipe T connectors. And these are probably the most versatile and the most common connector that we see used, uh, where essentially you just have one in each corner. And they're really versatile because they, they join two pieces of conduit together, but you have a lot of uh, creative options that you can use them for. And in this kind of scenario, they're being used um, to create that 90 degree elbow, where you have this horizontal piece of conduit running continuously through the top half of the connector. And then it basically sits flush with the end of the T connector there as we can see. And then in the bottom half of the T-connector is this horizontal bar that's extending from the front to the back. And that's pretty much the same design. It's just four of those T-connectors, four pieces of conduit. You can customize the base here, customize these dimensions with a handheld rotating pipe and tube cutter, and you can get the dimensions exactly how you need them for your specific banners. Um, and that's really cool. And then essentially that's the, the main part of the base. And then we'll go and look at another part of the frame and we'll look at another picture here and we can see how the top part of the frame is made. And this is the part that's gonna secure the banner themselves. And uh, let's see, what's a good photo to showcase that? Maybe these here, because we can see the backside of the banners. So essentially, we saw that rectangular base at the bottom. And then essentially, it's just two more T-connectors grabbing on to the middle of that rectangular base. And that is just sending two more pieces of conduit up to the top of the frame. And I apologize, my lines are not very straight. But essentially, we've got four, or sorry, two more T-connectors up here, which is going to create this horizontal span at the very top. And that's going to you know support the banner up there. Then we've got two more T connectors down here uh, on the low side, and we've got two more in the middle. And essentially this is just creating these horizontal braces that are going to be supporting the banner once they're in, once those, you know, the banner is in place. And that's pretty much it. So it's four T connectors at the bottom and then two, four, six, eight T connectors to create the upright part of the frame that supports the banner. Uh, so just a bunch of T connectors, which like I said, those are really versatile and useful. So you can make this frame uh, or use them creatively for other stuff. Uh, you know, if your props change over the years, uh, but essentially that is the frame. And then you'll just put your banner in between between uh, the pieces of conduit. And we kind of see banners mounted in a few different ways. Looks like these are meant to wrap around the frame and it looks like they're maybe zip tied in place. We've also seen people use ball bungees if the banners have grommets. Um, we've also seen people use paracord. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do to secure the banners, um, but I know the hard part is making these frames and then you can kind of get creative with how you mount the banners to the frames. Uh, but you know, conduit and connectors really work well together. So you can use these um, you know, you know, for different props and things over the years. And something that it wasn't used in this build that you might find useful is the maker pipe quick clamp which allows you to quickly open and close a connector and then allow which, which allows you to uh, you know essentially make this where it's easy to put together and take apart if you're traveling to different competitions or you just need to store it year after year um, those are really handy and useful and of course you know you just need a five millimeter hex wrench to put connections together anyway so some people just opt to just you know have a five millimeter hex wrench on hand and you know quickly loosen them or tighten them back with that you can you know really do either way but you have a lot of flexibility and a lot of options and hopefully you found uh, this video helpful and hopefully you're able to make these banner frames and customize them for your dimensions and for your shows. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.